Hey guys, it's Scrappin' Katie, and today's video is a twofer. Day four of best of 30 days of sketches, and then I am celebrating Miranda's My Scrappy Life's 3K birthday YouTube clip. So for uh, Miranda's 40th birthday YouTube collab, and for day four of 30 days of sketches, best of, I have pulled out the 2D Fruity collection. You can see here, um, a lot of pastels, just the summer vibe going on. And then I've pulled out photos of a recent trip with my mother and my daughter to our local ice cream shop. So I thought that would be perfect for this celebratory hop for Miranda. Now, Miranda, um, I'll leave all the details down below, but she has asked or she's challenged us to use four of everything on our layout. So that's why I have the four photos. I am going to be using four pattern papers, maybe four stickers. I don't know where this is going to go, but um, I'm excited to get started. I had a migraine all this week, and so I haven't been playing along with the best of 30 sketches, but I am excited to be in my craft room and go ahead and not only celebrate the sketches that I love, and I know you guys love to see what we do with them, but also celebrate Miranda over at My Scrappy Life. So let me clear the desk and let's get started. I have cut my four pieces of pattern paper and then now I want to, I'm going to build my layout on a white sheet of cardstock, but I want an outside frame in a different color. So I've just cut off half an inch from two of the sides. And then I'm going to pull out this sheet of Capri and I'm going to gut it. So that means that I am going to cut out the center. So I'm going to line it up at an inch, start my blade in an inch, cut up to 11 and then turn it 90 degrees and do the same process. Line it up in an inch, start at 11, cut down to an inch, and then repeat that process on the other two sides. And that way I have gutted the middle. I usually do this with my favorite pattern papers, um, you know, just to save some of that pretty pattern. But I often do it with cardstock too because um, not to add a whole lot of bulk. And then I also am able to use this now for my photo mats, which we'll, we will be doing later. So I've got the Capri and I believe I'm going to use the light side. And then you can see here that this white piece of cardstock hides that cutout. So I think I'm going to do that, but I need to decide before I get too much laid down if I want any sort of splatter or quote unquote sprinkles on here. So I think I'm going to actually add stamping instead of splatter. So to do that, I'm going to, um, I'm going to do that later. So I'm going to bring out my Versa mat just so I can somewhat keep these paper strips straight probably not going to happen but we will try it also I have huge photos so I'm just going to place this photo right here so I can kind of know where to line up so the easiest thing I think is going to be just to take these and just kind of lay them out like that Kind of spread them out and then I'm going to fill in with the other ones. If you recall, the sketch has this, um, has all of these kind of over here and then has a uh, stitched line going down the middle. Pretty sure I'm going to stay true to that. So it's important that I kind of get them where I want them um, so I can just kind of tack them down um, on the outside edges. So then when I take it over to my um, sewing machine, it doesn't tack up the needle. So I'm not sure if you're used to sewing on your projects, but it helps if you don't run your needle through adhesive. 
I am going to speed this process up just a little bit. Um, mainly, I'm just making sure that I'm separating the pattern papers. I don't want two of the same pattern next to each other. And then I'm also separating the short um, lengths and the longer lengths. So now is a good time to remind you, if you are liking what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps YouTube show you more videos of the same, and it helps my little channel out in the process. I've matted that down, and I've gone ahead and taken those same pattern of paper, you know, because i got to stick with four patterns. Just cut random sizes, because the sketch actually has this photo matted kind of in a weird way. It's got multiple mats, which I love the look of. Okay, so I'm liking so I'm that. Going Definitely to going to have to do some ink distressing around those edges just to bring them out. They're kind of blending in. Now, I did go ahead and tack these down off camera, and so there's no ink distressing those, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm using Grape Ink. Grape Ink is one of those inks that I've kind of been sleeping on, if that makes sense. Um, we've had it for a while. I've owned it for as long as it's been around, but I've just now recently started using it and it's really become one of my favorite inks, especially for stamping. And that's why I chose it. I was going to choose Capri. But then I thought, no, I really want these to stand out. Now you can see I'm inking all the edges, probably not going to actually use all the edges. You saw me kind of laying this out rough draft like. But that way, once I actually go to decide which ones, I won't have to stop in the middle and ink some more. I can just use my scissors to cut. So we've got that, and then I think I'm going to do this cardstock piece. Now again, remember this cardstock came from that center piece that I gutted out that this white daisy base will be adhered to here in just a second. So we've got all of that and I think again I will kind of figure out how this is going to go right quick. So for this process, I am just going to mainly use my main focal um, photo mat just as a guide. And I'm going to start tucking these pattern papers in behind, lay it down on my um, layout, and then just start using just a little bit of tape to adhere these pieces together. The majority of them will be adhered once I actually lay my photo down and adhere it. And then I'm going to cut some of the patterns that you really can't see. I'm going to cut those away to use those on other projects. Before I get too far gone on this layout, I decided it would probably be best if I go ahead and adhere it down to this frame. Now I did keep the adhesive on the back of this white daisy cardstock. I kept it really tight to the edge because, you know, we have that big huge hole. And that way no adhesive is on this hole. And then also off camera I did stitch, much like the sketch itself. And then so now I want to bring in the stamping. So of course remember this is from Miranda's birthday party and she wants you to use four of everything. So I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to use four separate stamp sets or I'm going to stamp four times. That remains to be seen. So this is my favorite stamp, um, Perfectly in Perfect Patterns. It is on sale right now as part of the um, Stamptacular sale that's going on right now. And I should have done this before I glued down those photo mats. But no big deal. I will just mask this right here. If you can see, there's a little spot right there, I guess, from me ink distressing. So I am going to hide that by using the stamp. I'm using this stamp because it looks like cake sprinkles to me. So I'm going to use it there and I believe I'm going to use it up here. Again, not sure if I'm going to use four 
stamp sets or for images or if I'm just going to stamp four times. So I'm going to leave that right there. If you're wondering where the four photos went, hold tight because that is coming here in just a little bit. And you know, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and stamp this right here. I'm going to do a title down there. So I think that that's going to be it for right now. I am going to leave that grape ink pad right there for a second and then check out my other stamps. And you recall I did not ink distress all these little bitty tiny strips. So another stamp image from that Perfectly Imperfect is this little row of hearts. So I think I'm actually going to come in and stamp those hearts over here, hoping that maybe it will kind of add that same look that ink distressing would add. I'm trying to go, um, you know, not all in a row, kind of going here and there. And trying not to stamp all on the Capri. Except, you know, it just looks so pretty on that Capri. So I think I'll go on the bottom of this one. So I'm liking that. So, so far, that is two stamped images, one stamp set. So we could still get four separate images, which is, th I think, what I'm going to do. Not four stamp sets. I could, but we'll just see. How that works and then I have this I've gone ahead and put some 3d foam tape on the back just to kind of see I'm about to bring the stickers out to kind of see where I can tuck in some of those stickers so I love treat yourself here's the scoop this is happiness is cute I love the wonderful. I just, I really love all of it. And look at that shine right there. So let me take a look at this for a little bit and then try to decide what I'm going to do. I've pulled out the two largest titles. I have this one and I like it because I think it can kind of span this area. But then I also like this one just because it's tall. We've got a whole lot of things going across and this one is um, vertical. But I'm really not sure which one I'm going to use. The only problem with this is then you've got this kind of blank spot right there. I could use Wonderful under here. Don't really want to do summer fun. It wasn't during summer. Juicy details could possibly work. Happy days. You and me. Well, it's not just you and me. It's you and us, I guess. So, decisions, decisions. I do think I'm going to go ahead and do this one. So, I'm going to peel off the backing. But not all of it. Just about right there. And that way, this part that hangs over, it won't stick you know, because there's definitely a progression down since I used 3D foam tape on this. And that way, that end won't stick to those other layers. And I did take the sticky off of these. That's why they're not sticking down. So I think I really like that. So before I do that, let me, well... Well, I guess I can add my journaling lines after. So the way the stickers is going to work is, remember, I still have three more photos. I'll show that to you at the very end of the video. But I'm going to use four stickers. So I've got two. And then we've got to come up with two more. Which I did say that I really liked juicy details, especially since my journaling is going to go over here. But I really want it kind of opposite that. 
So I think I'm going to remove the backing, sticky backing to that and put some 3D foam tape on it and then put it over those strips. But I'm not going to do it yet because I need to add my journaling lines. So here's the scoop, juicy details, all of that. And then, so now I need one more sticker. Pretty sure I'm going to use a heart, but which heart, what color heart, and where do I want the heart to be? So the next thing I'm going to add are these. Aren't those just the cutest things? They're like little clay or rubber shapes. And, and now I, I think I'm ready to do my journaling lines. How many journaling lines do you think I'm going to do? <laughs> you know, just leave it to Miranda to figure out an awesome addition to her little YouTube birthday card. So I'm going to do one. I usually do my journaling lines a quarter of an inch apart, but this one I'm going to do half an inch apart. Since I'm only going to have four, I really want it to span that space. So there we have it. Okay, so if you have stuck around this long, let me show you where the other photos come into play. They come into play on a second layout. So here's the way the layout's going to look together in my book. Hopefully you can see that. So let me walk you through the fours on here. So I've got four stickers. You are sweet, super cute, and amazing. I've got the little clay parts, and since I have them in three groups, I have done four in each group. And then I carried over the little sprinkle stamp and then the little heart stamp. And now I need to have two more stamped images for this to be complete. But first off, I realized that I had not glued that down. So I'm going to glue it down right there, which the reason I chose that over there is because this one is also over here in these little strips. And you can see I brought this stitching over here to this side as well. So I think I'm going to just use this one stamp set and I'm going to pick two additional images. So one is a stitched line and I am actually going to stamp on the Capri cardstock and I'm only going to stamp in the top corner. I am not brave enough to go all the way around at all. <laughs> so I'm going to stamp that one in the top right or top left this one in the bottom right and I think on this one I'll go two over I'm being careful not to rock my block because I have ink on it but I don't want to get my hands all inky by taking the ink off so that's going to be that and then I need one more image. So I think maybe right there. That adds kind of a boldness, don't you think? And then let's pull out the left layout and do the same. Okay, so there are my four images, and I think I'm done. So don't forget, I will leave all the details down below for Miranda's um, birthday hop, as well as she is celebrating um, 3,000 
subscribers and um, she's also having a giveaway so I'll leave all the details down below as well as all the other YouTube channels who are celebrating her and then remember this is also part of the best of 30 days of sketches for Christie's beautiful life this is day four I'm going to try to catch up on one two and three again that migraine this week just really um, set me back some but they're fun sketches and so I am going to be trying to catch up with that and then try to keep up um, all month long I I have an exclusive on the 17th day 17 is supposed to be my day to feature that so definitely I'll be posting on day 17 and more than likely here here there and everywhere in between so if you'd like to play along with that, I will leave that Facebook group link down below so you can head on over to Christie's Beautiful Life and take a look at the sketches and play along with us. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you liked what you saw, leave me a comment and a thumbs up. It helps YouTube show you more videos of the same and it helps my little YouTube channel out in the process. I will leave links down to all the products that I use down below as well as the stamp set um, that is part of the Stamptacular sale going on right now on my website. And then if you aren't already a subscriber, I would love to have you subscribe and click that little notification button so you'll be alerted the next time I post a crafty video. Thanks and have a wonderful weekend.